Welcome to Watch Hires channel and in this video I'll be talking about the watches from AliExpress which one you should buy or what to look for when trying to purchase from AliExpress and what to be cautious about because you're going to find huge amount of deals huge amount of ratios like 60% 80% discounts don't be fooled by all of this gimmick I want to speak about what I feel is secure and what to look for. In this video, I choose a variations from less than $10 to over $140 different watches. None of them are, uh, you know, lined up from a price or a brand. It is very much mixed because I've chosen a lot of watches for you. Let's get started and talk it on the way. First one is 2020 Miota 8215 automatic moment watch and I and W brand. This is not IWC, but the brand is similar as you can imagine. Dome glass automatic moment, and if it's Miota, we can trust on that. I'm not sure, I haven't tested the device, and it has three uh, ATM water resist, which means 30 meters and you have a lot of color options let me just go down a bit I think this watch deserves a look because it is Orient Bambino alternative and I know it's a risky price range when you consider Chinese brand but with the Miyoto moment you should be paying for the quality because this is a range of difficulties like more than 55 60 dollars when you go to the territory of 75 to 125 dollars you could consider second hand Seiko vibes and uh, some of the orient bambino style dress watches so this is maybe a dangerous start but i think the watch is overall cool looking when you consider different colors especially fully black dark blues and different type of greens this could be a good watch alternative and you can also check uh, INW brand uh, because or the carnival factory I'm not supported by any of these brands and I would like to review some of the products as well before I give my final verdict so the second watch is a uh, SKMAE brand or schema brand this is a cheap a product but I think it deserves an attention because of the design and simplicity uh, 11 dollars when you consider the discount from 35 dollars and i will op open the video just close the sound let's just take a look at this glowing is quite good on the glass and let's just come to the yeah the light yeah okay it looks basic and effective yeah 30 meter water resistance three bar they say so Let's get to the next one. This is a luminous display, they call it. Around it, that's why I chose this watch. Around it, there is a luminous place and the numbers are luminous. The brand is Mysterious Code. And I think it looks interesting, like a military watch or field watch style. I think many of the people could choose this because of the different color options and $117 is not a cheap watch but this is a titanium pilot watch so if it's really titanium well, when I speak I start with if because I haven't tested the product but it looks very good on my opinion let's get down with the different colors Yes, the photos are also looking good and the loom effect I want to see up close if I have a chance but nowhere near this is a cheap watch they say it's $300 and became the $117 I'm not sure what to think about the price that's your part and this is the schema again a 50 meter water resistance and 11 point two dollars from twenty two dollars it looks like a, a philip patek kind of uh, watch but i don't think it's metal so it looks cool and it has different colors and if you're going to buy a cheap watch and look cool let's just play the video sorry about the voice 
Well, it looks cool for the price. It could be tested. Let's just take a look at the second mark because I wonder that. Second is, mm, it's not matching. It's not matching perfectly, but for this price, it could be acceptable. If you're thinking about a cheap Casio or something, you can consider this. All of the links will be at the description down below. Mini Focus is a good brand uh, for trying a different kind of watch with a cheap price. Uh, but movement and the uh, functions uh, might not be perfectly uh, you know, aligned with the dial and stuff. And by the way, this metal watches doesn't have the perfect finish. Okay, uh, if you're going down from seventy-five dollars, like fifty dollars and less, just accept the metals corners are not going to be perfect. I'm going to give my example to you as soon as possible uh, in the future of this video because I bought a couple of the watches and you'll find them on this uh, on our YouTube channel. Julius, I think, is a good simplistic brand. Let's just play the video. They also have a commercial, as you can see. Uh, this is a four-color watch, simplistic, maybe Korean design. And square design gives an effective look if you want to be different from the others. And different colors in the dials just took my attention. So I think you can check this out. Don't expect too much like water resistance and stuff and they don't say it's a japanese moment or not by the way there is another julius here as you can see much more expensive 22 dollars 29 30 dollars range they say it's 50 percent uh, by the way just be careful about the shipping cost and if you're using a coupon maybe it will be uh, cheaper this is not the only julius yes the second julius like i told you 29 dollars let's just play the video again I think this deserves much attention. Yes, I know this is seven dollar or more expensive, but it's a it has a chronometer and stuff, so it looks like not just simple, but um, they say it's a Japanese moment. Let's go down. I think with the chronometer and the date and the f um, somewhat of a f filled in dial compared to this model, just gives you more quality. And they say, like, Epson moment. And you know the Epson belongs to Seiko, and by the way. So the Epson VX9GA moment. I, I think this watch could be uh, in my collection uh, after this video. And if I buy it, I will review it as soon as possible. Uh, looking cool, simple, elegant. That's all I'm going to say with the Japanese moment. Uh, but you should check the water resistance because it's a dress watch. If you're looking for too much of a water resistance, you'll be checking it thoroughly, I hope. Carnival is a good brand. And this watch just take my attention because I am an Orient Bambino lover. Okay, when it comes to the dress watch, I don't have Orient Bambino, but I like the style of it. So the simplistic design at the back, they say Miyoto moments. So of course, when you come to the price, this is a $71 with the Miyoto moment. So this could be a consideration for me. That's why I chose it. And they say it's a sapphire crystal. So if all these are true, this could be a bargain. Uh, this is a 3 ATM, means 30 meters of water resistance watch. So be ready for everything. But if it's true, I think for the different colors and dial options, this could be one of my next watch in the collection. But $71 is nothing cheap. When you go to this territory, you could be also considering uh, Japanese watches originally like Orient. Orient also, I remember, belongs to the Seiko. By the way, you can find an expensive model here. And probably I also add that in the collection we will find it soon enough and here is the dial that we are familiar somewhat of a Tissot models I presume or, or also a couple of other brands have similar <coughs> dials as well so 
30 meters of water resistance is not a good match for this dial. It's a chronograph, it's automatic. The moment we don't have an info, the price is $50 between $60, depending on the probably bracelet and the strap. Let's go down. Let's go down. Yes, it, it is a good looking watch, but I'm not sure any of the specs, so I'll give it a go by the design. It's uh, Tag Hauer and Tissot kind of simplistic and sportive design. Steel dive. We had reviewed two steel dives and I I have owned one of them. One of them I bought it for my brother. So I am, uh, you know, experienced in uh, this brand. They have a good production and quality control. $75 is not much, but for the casing, and Seiko Turtle style. This is a homage watch. Even though everywhere you can find steel dye brand, I recommend this watch because the one that I have, uh, because of the one that I have and experienced, had no problem, no issue, and they had a Seiko automatic movement. This uh, watch also has a Seiko automatic movement. If they have a video, let's just check, or at least we can find good photos. There are, there are brandings everywhere, and as you can see, it is by far a quality looking watch when it comes down to the finish. Edges are mm, quite polished, especially edges are important for me when it comes down to the finishing. Let's go to the next one. I, when I trust the steel dive, I also included $140 watch. But by the way, this type of quality watches with the sapphire glass and 300 meter water resistance and automatic movement by the Japanese, it has to be expensive. So we are not shocked by anything, but it looks much more expensive than it is. Probably if you go for the Seiko or other companies, it could be like $500 range watch, maybe 370 at discounts. But I, I think $500 range watch this is. So it's good to see it. Uh, finish looks good. I haven't tested. I would like to have one, but the price and the shipping, just let me think about it because I have a lot of Seikos in my collection. Next one is a cheap one uh, from Skimei or SKMAE again. I think this watch looks cool and we have uh, color options like negative uh, digital areas, negative screen. And by the way, we have a fully black model. And I think this looks cool. Not looks expensive, but it's not expensive at all. $12. If you're considering a Casio, instead of Casio, you can go this way. Water resist could drop, uh, by the way, because where you can take some things, this is a 50 meter water resist. Many of the Casio's around $20 and more when it comes down to the resin or plastic watches have 100 meter uh, water resistance, but they don't have this type of cool dials. But if the 50 meter is okay for you, and if you're not going to push it to the limit and swim, you can consider other Schema watches as well. But uh, that is the one to pass. Uh, this is an $8.8 .8 watch. It looks like a, a smart bracelet, but not. This could be a kid's watch. Easy to wear, easy to run. Sportive activities when you are push-ups and pull-downs, you can easily use your wrist. And there are negative screen models as well. So this could be also addable. I will add the link of this model too. Let's open up in a new tab because I think this, this negative screen just gives this a smart bracelet from a distance, but also simple watch. Well, easy to use. Let's go to the next one. And Eskimo again, 100 meter water resistance is one of the reasons that I chose. Let's open the video open the video 10 year battery warranty and when it turns around the screen big and nice you can't find nine dollars a good casio like this with a big screen and also loom or light is quite good so this could be an option for my collection as well the alternative of this 
watch is probably Casio Illuminator series. I'm passing the watch. Yet again, another scheme. If you're going to the sport direction, I think the dial looks cool and negative screen looks cool. Overall, the photos and the video. Let's just open the video again. This watch could be a good watch for a kid or a family member. But when I click the price, let's just check. Yes, it's $16. $9 for the black one. And black strap. What is the difference? Yeah, with this with one strap. With style two with box. Oh, I get it. Some of them with box, some of them without box. So the box is a cost. So no problem for me. I could go without a box. No problem if I'm going to just use it. Uh, I'm going if I'm going to give it as a gift. Box could be considerable. And Skime again with a different type of workflow. Don't worry, the list is not going to continue with uh, same brand, but it looks cool on the wrist and the negative space, negative black screen, or the white screen when it comes down to the light. Let's open the video again. By the way, this is screen record uh, captured by 12 uh, frames per second. So some of the movements will be, you know, uh, if uh, if it's just rattle or shaky, don't worry about the video, only about the capture. I think this watch deserves an attention. Let's get pa pass to the second one. This is, uh, I think, interesting looking watch and the color options, as you can see, somewhat of a Tissot feeling, Tissot PRX, uh, or uh, let's just say Tag Heuer kind of style, simplistic, mm, something just reminds me like Breitling style aviator watch, even though this is only tachometer space. I think this watch deserves attention. It say, they say it's stainless steel, but the details are not uh, exact, so the water resist could be uh, not too good. Just check it before you buy it, $28. I think it looks different. So, Vintage Pilot Chronograph uh, and VK61 Moment uh, brand is Baltani. Let's play the video. This is one of the best designs that I like. It is universal. Everybody could wear it. And I think the quality seems quite good. Finish looks good. And 39 millimeter quartz mechanism will not bother you anytime. Because if you're going to go for the automatic, it will take time to, you know, calculate it every day. If you're going to change watches between watches. So you can consider this watch brand or this, uh, shop and yet again another watch with 130 dollars 130 dollars is not a cheap watch but when it comes down to the probably this was a, a vintage but titanium watch i'm not sure of it but you could check the casing is expensive so movement is expensive uh, there is no other uh, way to create watch for cheap right Mysterious code, another watch, $122. It looks similar. I chose it because it likes it is like a, a Tissot PRX, uh, the new one, Chrono or Philip Patek kind of uh, simplistic feeling. And when we go down, the photos are looking quite good. Finish seems good, but I will uh, just make sure before the purchase, I will remind you again read the comments read the people because some of the comments will give you detailed information i haven't checked find uh, time to check all of them but some of the watches with squares and brush like this doesn't have a fin good finish on the corners but when you go down to the 140 dollars each or 20 dollars it should be good and the watch is tandorio Tandorio, it looks like an Italian brand. Tandorio, kind of. It's uh, It says 68. It looks good. And some of them with logos, some of them without logos. Let's go down. The uh, size is 38. Thickness is 14.2. Uh, 
They say it's a sapphire glass and NH35 Seiko moment, Japan, Japan moment. So I think this looks like a kind of a diver dress and classic uh, field watch something between and 300 meter water resistance screw down crown date and the big looms looming areas i think this could be all around watch and you could be thinking this uh, depending on the price not too bad and skimay again 20 dollars it looks expensive like a tissot prx and it says metal style but don't get me wrong this is probably not stainless steel for this price and it's a quartz watch as you can see glass has some kind of a yes the inside just makes me you know i that's why i am interested with this watch for the 20 dollars yes metal doesn't look too good too perfected like the prx but the dial and the overall shape of the watch is good looking but the shine from the bracelet and the watch itself is not exactly matching so just make sure you're ready for not getting the thing that you see on the photos so this as you can see shiny this is brushed but the inside of the watch dial as you can see here just made me interested by this watch and let's get past to another one rebirth simplistic design quartz movement not too much of a uh, diving or water resistant capability but 7.8 dollars what do you expect this is a simple design instead of buying the timex you could consider this watch with the different straps and you can buy a couple of them to give you know gift as for the child's uh, if you like Let's go past the other one. Nope, sorry about the tab. Same tab again. Okay, another one. This is Yazole brand. And I think it looks different than the others. That's why I've chosen it. $14.5. Uh, it could be having a chance. Uh, 30 meters of water resistance. Design looks interesting comparing to other products. And yeah that's why i chose it and i hope if you're looking for different products you can consider this you can find simplistic designs everywhere no problem on that but this is simple and different Sinobi will be finding Sinobi in this video a couple of them i suppose this is interesting and innovative watch let's just watch the video and they have videos I haven't reviewed any i haven't purchased but i'm considering the purchase here if i purchase i will let you know by the videos different design simplistic design single line of marker to show the time that means these areas are working let's just go down one new chapter for the gentleman this is probably for the minute and this is probably for the hour so the movement is looking very different like the bezel is looking different as you can see this could be an option for people if you're looking for something different and the brand has something different to offer so Sinobi official store you can check that out i will give the link description below Sinobi again this is a big watch, $19, ultra thin, huge watch as you can see, this is probably 43, four, no 46, I'm not sure, but as you can see, huge watch, but it looks cool, let's get the millimeters, if there is any information about that, 22 millimeter for here, S, yes, 48 millimeter, lock to lock, that is a big watch not for my watch but not for my wrist but if you have a big wrist and thinking something different this looks cool and by the video you can check that out it looks good on the video going for the next one fantor fantor seems like a nomos alternative 33 dollars a minimalistic quartz watch as you can see there is a logo on the 
uh, crown uh, you have color options simplicity Bauhaus kind of style brush surface nothing special but it looks cool that's why I've chosen it $33 is nothing less let's go to the next one Scone uh, $17 the dial just made me interested for this watch simplicity just took my attention you have color options as well so if you're thinking you can consider this too let's go to the next one and the brand is Mayo's variety shop it says but uh, the brand uh, it says Japanese quartz watch square uh, let's go for the video See? sorry about the voice yeah, Square Watch has always interested me and it has functions like you see three of other dials inside of a dial. Julius again. Yeah, the brand is Julius. So this is not the first Julius. I've shown you this watch before. You could consider Julius brand. See what they have. So this looks like a race caliper or... A gear kind of thing like a car part or performance car performance motorcycle and around the edge if you look it looks like also wheel of a motorcycle kind of thing like a disc brake and wheel together and the price is 13.9 dollars and the crown is around let's just say two o'clock so it's interesting watch to wear not like in the four o'clock crown but the two o'clock is also interesting so you can consider this too. It looks cool. It looks unique. It is different than everyone, everything that you can see. And you can also check these watches too, like from the same brand, I suppose. Let's just say, take a look. Sanda again, as you can see. Sorry about the watch. They have made a commercial. Yeah, it looks different. So I'm passing it by. Julius again. This is classic watch. That's why I've chosen it. G logo at the top of the second mark. It looks cool. Simple and cool. And leather strap, they say. Or a nylon strap. Oh, sorry. They have giving you uh, they are giving you two straps. So that's why this could be interesting. You have two options it looks brushed designed by korea so julie's design here is also a good touch i could be considering this watch too this is one of my uh, lists yes a pagani design pagani design is kind of like a very much known for the homage watches and this is like a Seiko Precise series and I bought this watch and I sold it uh, glass looks cool but the strap doesn't feel cool as it looks on the photos and the videos and mine was missing the time in in a day so it has they say a quartz moment i don't expect a quartz moment to lose time if it's automatic maybe acceptable if it's like a you know mechanical not automatic but you're going to you know uh, tune it every one and then like every 12 hours or 16 hours of stuff they those kind of watches could miss the time but this miss the time a lot like uh 10 minutes maybe it was my sample but i'm i wasn't happy with the quality uh, of the product overall i know it's not the perfect watch uh, they say 100 meters in somewhere and they say 30 meters somewhere there is no information correction and i'm not sure what they are doing so what do you see is not what do you get sometimes in all of these brands so be aware that you're spending a good quality casio money to a brand that you exactly not know the quality certifications or procedures control procedures so when you go to a casio you know what you're going to get delivered you know
you, you know what you deliver. When you go to the cheap Seiko, even the cheapest Seiko, you know what you deliver. When you go to a Timex, okay, there could be mistakes on the quality control, but you're buying a Timex. So if you're going to purchase this uh, sort of $30 range, be ready to uh, mistakes, bad quality control. I recommend go over $50 or $60 range, like the steel, drive, steel dives like I bought, $70, $100 range, or go cheap. That's the best of uh, information that I could give you, but you can always find discount good products. Megalit sounds cool, and uh, it has a sapphire glass and chronometers. It looks like a Tissot homage, T new Tissot automatic chronometer homage, but it looks cool on the photos. Let's just take a look at the video. On the video, it also looks cool. Similar to this watch, I bought a Cadison watch. And you can watch that video in this channel. It looks good on the videos, but around the edges, it was a sharp watch. That means every time when I touched with my other hand, other than the hand that the watch on my wrist, when I touched the uh, watch, especially with the lace bracelet or the edge of the watch, finishing was like a, not like a sharp knife, but unsharpened knife kind of feeling. Yeah, you can cut, you can cut yourself or you can scratch yourself. You probably won't hurt yourself, but you can scratch yourself. That's an issue when it comes down to a dress watch. And this is a $65 watch. So read the comments very carefully. And I'm not sure about the quality, but when, you, when we go down to this watch, Photos are looking awesome. If I have the chance to review it, I will review it if they send me because I don't want to risk my money to spend uh, for this price range. Around the edges looks good on the photo, but as you can see, this one is a sharp edge. This has also sharp edge. You don't know these edges are also sharp or not. So sometimes you can hurt other people when you, you know, just go past them. Be careful where to spend your money otherwise this product looks cool and you can read the reviews as well there are lots of reviews i suppose and again adias dive it it is much like a steel dive series and i trust these brands and the quality seems like a, this is nh35 seiko moment simplistic design and a lot of people probably review this watch and it has also video as you can see uh, automatic movement simple design watch everyday use 200 meter water resistant date what more you want for this price and i think the pricing is quite good adias dive similar models like the steel dive series so the adias dive professional store you can find similar products with different movements if you're wondering about the steel dives that I've reviewed, you can also consider Adias dive, but I'm not sure about the quality. I haven't buy, uh, bought any Adias dives yet. Yet another original device. This looks like a KZD brand. It's definitely homage from Omega series, Omega Seamaster series probably. A diver watch, they say, 300 meters, master chronometers. And it has $32 price. I don't think that you will find a pretty much good finish like you see here around the edges. You find not perfect. And inside the watch is not uh, perfectly clean. And around the edges, there are a lot of things to be considered. This could be a photo problem. Or this could be a quality problem as well. But I don't expect too much for $32 a homage of a huge amount of money watch of original Omega. Same watch, sorry about that. Let's just paste it. Megalit brand, another Megalit. Quartz moment, analog, water resist 100 meters, Philip Patek kind of feeling, $45.9. Let's just go to the video. As you can see, the photos and the design looks cool. Around the edges, 
I think they smoothed it a lot. This watch looks quite smooth to me and the luminous effect is like that and the inside definitely good philippatic uh, kind of design and the crown i like the crown there are minor adjustments on the bracelet so this could be in my list for this price range i think you don't have too much alternative and going quartz is not a bad thing especially you don't have to worry about the tune your watch every one and then uh, 10 atm 100 meter water resist and the watch specs it is not a two tick watch because it's a quartz watch 12 millimeters and 43 millimeters lock to lock is a good size when you consider the shape of the thing and megalith official site uh, page is also here you can find many interesting watches this could be in my list and Z1, Z1, sorry, this is a chronograph watch and quart moments, vintage looking watch. The design looks like a Zenith to me, and I'm not sure it is an exactly Zenith homage. You can also find, as you can see here, uh, I think this Omega uh, Speedmaster clone kind of homage watches, and the design just takes place but some of the viewers just said couple of the numbers doesn't print it as well as the others and the build quality is not perfect and there are alternative here some of them are out of stock and when you choose them the price also changes so it depends on what you choose and spec wise i think this is a good looking design especially if you're happy with the chinese text and the design not expecting anything extreme for the price you could go for this design yes this is my choice still dive because i know the quality of the some of the watches that i've tested over the time this is a panerai alternative okay this is probably a homage of a panerai model i don't know all the panerais but panerai i remember belongs to rolex so this is kind of like a good watch uh, alternative let's just make it bigger the dial texture and overall uh, still dive logos everywhere and if you can find this watch i believe this deserves a good look the price is not cheap but when you consider seiko nh35 movement and sapphire crystal 200 meters and the dial like this let's just go dial is quite good as the textures itself and the leather looks cool crown is also like a dress style but it's also a sporty watch with 200 meters if you have a big wrist or if you want to carry the big watch even though you have a small wrist this is a good watch i would expect for this price to you know uh, the second uh, or the hour mark and the minute mark to match the gloss uh, or light level or the color of the uh, you know dial this numbers could be matched but uh, here we have what we have i also shown this watch this watch is one of my favorites it's until the end but it shows the life itself you start as a baby at one o'clock and then just you know a little bit bigger and then you're crawling on the ground at three o'clock and then you become a probably first school and the second school and then later on high school and then the university and graduation and businessman earning cash and mid middle ages and then getting old yes it's good to see not a seeing a coffin because it will be interesting at 12 but four dollars is cheap but uh, there's a catch the shipment costs more than a watch like a uh, four dollar for the watch maybe three dollar or four dollar another four dollar for the shipment be ready for that this could be a gift for a wife and man to like a if you have a fiance or something 
or a family members, this will remind you you're going to born and die. And also keep watch, the watch the, for the time and the value your time more efficiently. Because this is the only thing that you can back, get back, like money itself. Time is only one direction, as you can see here. Yeah, quality may not be perfect, but the message is Nomos. Nomos is one of the best watches when it comes down to the simplicity, elegance. Uh, see, in the same time, uh, price is $100. There, there is not much to tell about the Nomos. You can find different Nomos models. And you can see the specs under the description or inside the descriptions. At the back, you can see the movement. So... mechanical watch i hope you you know dig into this watch and re watch some reviews and at the end of it i'm not sure this is probably a tag hauger kind of style watch so 34 dollars quartz watch a uh, lot of dial colors i think design is effective uh, the crown is at the left so this way you can move easily and chronograph functions, buttons. I think everything looks cool. And I also like the nailed uh, nylon strap, but also you can go with the leather strap. Nailed straps are always mm, giving a sporty look to a watch. And the details around the edges, it's interesting. Especially it comes from $60 to $34. And when I come to nearly end of the video, just remind you, you are becoming a, uh, to spend a budget of a good Casio when you pass $20. So consider this. Any of the watches could be looking interesting and good feeling watches, but it's hard to earn money, uh, maybe harder than before in these days so don't waste your money and uh, if you're you know if you want to add another watch to your collection just be prepared and look for it search it in a good way don't get the idea of oh 50 dollar 50 percent of discounts 60 percent of discounts and stuff discounts will come and go you don't have to hurry to buy a watch and you just value your time that's about it and if this is a hobby you could go to safest direction by the Casio models that I reviewed before and if you're like me you can add some of the watches to your collection and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like the video let me know and if you have alternative watches that you can share your information you can share the links down below uh, let people know what to buy uh, this video took a lot of time for me to prepare to choosing watches from huge amount of watches of AliExpress. It's not easy. I know I missed a lot of watches. Skime is one of the brands that uh, they are making alternative to Casio models like homages and stuff. But they also have their own watches. So if you're looking for a cheap watch, alternative sport watch, 100 meter water resistance and stuff... You could definitely add some of the Skime models. And Julian, I remember the uh, Mark uh, brand. So you can add also a couple of Julians and stuff. But beware, you're not going to get exactly what you see on the photos or the edge, uh, you know, the uh, polish and the build quality will not as good as you imagine. So read the comments. And if you want... Uh, a watch to be reviewed you can send us the link maybe we can purchase it and review it later on i hope you enjoy the video this is uh, becoming very late at night in my country so see you in the next video